Hi, it's Kat. Let me show you something that I'm working on in the studio today. How's that for a catchphrase? Hi, it's Kat. Welcome to my studio. Hi, it's Kat. Welcome back to my art studio. Hey guys, it's Kat. How do you like my messy art studio? Welcome back to Cat in the Hat Art Videos. Hello YouTube, it's me, Cat. Welcome back to the art studio. Anyways, in the last couple... <laughs> Hi, it's Cat. Welcome back to the studio. Before we get started on the third video of our pirate ship made out of cow horn and I pulled out of a dump, let me show you something very exciting that we're doing today. This is a science experiment I have set up with various different liquids to see if I can achieve a patina on the copper wire to match the pirate ship that I'm making. So by the end of the video, we'll have a look inside these cups, which I have placed a small piece of copper wire and have left sit for over 24 hours. Will it be exactly the same? Will I achieve the color that I'm looking for? I don't know, stay tuned, let's find out. Oh, it's already recorded. I've been playing around with some video editing programs. It's still pretty rough. Please bear with me as I learn, but I have found a way to kind of uh, trim and paste together different video clips instead of just doing one continuous unedited video. <laughs> I'll show you this. Um, to make it a little easier, I just started threading them on the dowels. I am still going to use the metal though. So you can see one of the things that I did was I did put on a little pirate design. So let me know this is a pirate ship and not just any old ship. So the base of the boat was pretty easy to put together. It just had these two parts and in the bottom there were these holes. So I did not have the materials that I needed to replace the nuts and bolts in my random electronic components here. So I had to go to PV Mart. Let's just have a little look at how that went. Hey, it's Kat. I had to get some supplies for the pirate ship project. I have to get some nuts and bolts and see if I can find some wire that will make the same patina. And as you can see, there's a blizzard snowstorm. So we're here in PV Mart in the nuts and bolts aisle. And Christine was just saying, here's some big nuts in this aisle. <laughs> and we're back. So at PV Mart, I found what I was looking for. Instead of getting a nut though, I chose to get a wing nut. Well, I guess it's still a nut. It's just a different kind of nut. Um, so because I didn't have a little teeny tiny little wrench, you can see I, that's sort of the size of the nut that I brought with to find the right size. And then the wing nut is way easier because then you can just twist it instead of using a wrench. So this was the screws that were long enough. And this was the wing nut. The screws came in this package, but it just was super falling apart and I didn't want to keep them in there. So what I did was I transferred them into this container with a lid and then wrote what size it was on there. So you can tell that these parts were going to be the same size in the store because you can see they both say 632 on there. Because that was something that was tricky and as you can see from the footage there's a lot of nuts and bolts in that aisle um, and I didn't want to find ones that didn't work together. So at the bottom of the boat I put the screws and the wing nuts and then instead of using tiny wrench I could just screw these to tighten them. So you can see it just kind of twists around. Oops, wrong way. And when that is all tightened, it is now a good solid base. I screwed the pieces back in on there. Some of them could probably go a little tighter, but I think when it's all wired up and put together, it'll be fine. Okay, so let me show you where the boat is at now. So I have the base put together. Why is this so difficult? I have the base put together and the masts put on. I have found a pleasing way to put the P 
pieces back together so that the holes correspond and we'll be able to wire together as well as I kind of just liked how, how the colors were. So I'm going to have to take these, put them back on a here, and then wire up all the little holes. And I think I'll save that for a separate video because I'm not sure how long this one's getting to be yet. And you know what? We still have to go over the results of the experiment because my art studio smells like vinegar and frankly, I'm getting kind of sick of it. So let's go ahead and move this out cup of the way. one. What are you, cup one? Cup one is just vinegar. Come here, copper. Oh, this is gonna be really difficult, isn't it? Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Come here. Plain vinegar. I don't think anything happened. We'll put that over there. Yuck. <laughs> I'm so sick of smelling vinegar. Cup number two. What are you? This one is salt and vinegar. Come here, little guy. Ooh, salt and vinegar. Looks like there is a tiny bit of color on there, but it's sort of brownish. We'll do a close up of those after. Next up, cup number three. <laughs> was supposed to use crushed up potato chips soaked in vinegar, but I did not have potato chips, so I used a Ritz cracker. And this is kind of super gross. Um, it's been sitting here for over 24 hours. I do, I'm not even sure where the copper wire went. Oh, it does not smell good. I'm doing it for science, you guys. It's art related to science. Oh, that is, that is not, is that the copper wire? Oh, well, it's kind of covered in yucky crumbs. Oh, that is gross. But it looks like, oh, there is a tiny bit of a color change on there. Who knew, who knew, Ritz cracker and vinegar. Okay, cup number three, what? what is your deal, cup number I mean, three. cup number four, of course, Miracle cup number four. I mean. with water. Okay, and this one is a really nice color, and I would be so happy if the wire turned this nice color. Like, it's even staining the stick a little bit. Uh, so come here, cup number four, what do you, oh, I don't know. Get a cracker off of there. All right, here you go, number four. Oh, that's disappointing. You know, maybe it's just that this copper wire is just really protected against things like this happening because maybe people don't want it's like rust on iron only this is like a some sort of copper reaction okay so let's look at the last one this one smells the worst and I'll be so glad to get this out of here this is red wine vinegar with miracle grow so it's miracle grow and the vinegar and it smells really bad and you can see it's staining the stick Oh my goodness. Down in there, there's some sludge stuff happening. Ooh, it's gross. I don't, we're not using this method, even if it works. Okay, here it is. And oh, maybe it looks a little darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this experiment is kind of a fail because nothing really happened aside from this tiny little bit there from the crackers and vinegar. So I will show you a close up what's going on here. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh, uh, oh, ow. <laughs> here we go, okay. <laughs> this is probably not working. Okay, so nothing, 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 and then a tiny little bit. Can you see that? I can probably super blurry. <laughs> I don't really have a zoom on the video. Okay, so here you go. I played around. I tried to find out how to get the wire to turn blow. Maybe I should just get some blue wire. Um, I'm not sure if the copper really bright like this is the best for the pirate ship pieces. So maybe, maybe I'll find something else like, or use that black one that I have in the bag of wire. I'm not sure. So next time that you see me, 
Um, we're gonna start wiring it all up and hopefully by video four we'll have our finished restored pirate ship from the dump. Okay, bye.